Imagine two poles measuring 50 meters each. Connecting them is a cable that's 80 meters long. The poles appear to be level with each other and the midpoint of the cable hangs 10 meters above the ground. Given these measurements, can you guess how far apart the poles are? Today I'm putting DeepSeek to fight against ChatGPT to solve this famous Amazon interview question. Who do you think is gonna win? Before we get to that, let me review the solution for this problem. The key is to first ignore the drawing. Diagrams are often not drawn to scale. This is exactly why a student can solve a trigonometry problem by simply measuring angles or lengths with a ruler. So the actual solution comes from mathematical reasoning, not visual estimation. Now let's analyze two extreme cases to gain insight. If the poles were 80 meters apart, the cable would be fully stretched horizontally meaning its lowest point would remain at the top of the poles 50 meters above the ground, which is clearly incorrect. Now let's consider the opposite case. If the poles were touching, the cable would be completely folded in half, forming two equal 40 meter segments hanging down. Since each pole is 50 meters tall, this would place the midpoint of the cable exactly 10 meters above the ground. And just like that, we found the solution. Now, how easy would it be for an AI model to solve this? Let's find out. I started uploading the image to the models, and since DeepSeek can only extract text from images, I'm going to explain the problem in words and use the same prompt for both to have a fair competition. This first battle is DeepSeek V3 against GPT-40, so the reasoning feature is not enabled yet. We can see that both of them are taking a very similar approach, doing it at relatively the same speed. Now GPT-40 finished the task first in 32 seconds and DeepSeek V3 came right after finishing it in 43 seconds. But none of this matters because neither of them were able to find the correct solution. Now let's do it again but this time let's turn on reasoning. So this is going to be DeepSeek R1 against O3 Mini. So let's see how these models will behave this time. Now the video is at a 30x speed and we can see that the reasoning process is shown on DeepSeek and ChatGPT does it behind the scenes. Now back to normal speed, ChatGPT's reasoning process took 3 minutes and 19 seconds and it's already starting to present the answer. We're going to analyze it in a second. DeepSeek is still thinking, so let me speed up the video again and see what answer we're going to have from this model. Now finally, we have the correct answer from both models. Now let's see a breakdown of this battle. Starting with GPT-40 against V3, so no reasoning, OpenAI's model did it in 32 seconds while DeepSeek's made it in 43 seconds. Neither of them got to the correct solution, so even though ChatGPT was around 25% faster, this doesn't matter much because the answer is not correct. Now comparing O3 Mini against R1, which are the models that use reasoning, ChatGPT was much faster finishing it in 3 minutes 19 seconds, while DeepSeek took 8 minutes 40. Both of them got to the correct solution, but this time ChatGPT's model was 62% faster. Now you want to hear the most interesting part of all this? Even though these two models brought the solution we were expecting, both of them identified that this is actually an impossible problem. So taking a look at ChatGPT's answer, we can see that with the measurements given, this would leave no leftover length in each half for any horizontal separation between the poles. So what this is telling us is that in a real physical scenario, we would need more than 80 meters of cable for that to be both a 40 meter sag and some non-zero horizontal span between the poles. Now we can see a similar answer from DeepSeek. It's telling us that the only solution is D equals zero meters, despite seeming counterintuitive which would imply that the poles are at the same location. In fact, if we scroll up on DeepSeek's reasoning process, we can see that right from the beginning, it was already trying a distance of zero, but it considered it to be physically impossible. And scrolling down, we can see that it got to this point many times again, but always encountered a contradiction, which is really interesting to see. Now, in the end, just like OpenAI, 
He brings zero as the only possible solution, but points out that this might be a mistake. So what's the conclusion? Well, the conclusion is that Jeff Bezos is just trying to fuck with us. In my particular case, I, I laugh a lot. Um. <laughs> <laughs>